and welcome back to my channel. My name is Soph and I'm about to start a degree in Physical Natural Sciences at the University of Cambridge. And a question I am asked all the time is why I chose Cambridge over Oxford. So particularly when I was applying and um, I had like a couple of mock interviews with teachers from like my school and the other local schools, um, a lot of teachers at the end would be like, why are you applying to Cambridge and not Oxford, given that your thing is clearly physics and not, like, more broad, like, you know that you want to do physics. Um, and that kind of surprised a lot of them. Um, so this is why I chose Natsuki at CAM and not physics at Ox. So both degrees, so that's the phys straight physics degree run by Oxford, and Cambridge Natural Sciences degree if you specialise in physics. Both are accredited by the Institute of Physics, which means like basically all other physics courses in the UK, the core content of the degree is the same. So I don't really miss out on any physics by taking the Natsuki route. Um, however, doing Natsuki in, um, in first year allows me more breadth, so I get to take chemistry and material sciences at the same time um, and I also have the option of switching to specialise in one of these if I want to so if I decide that actually at degree level physics isn't for me kind of like a try before you buy kind of thing I can then switch to say chemistry or material science or something else um, which is something that would be a lot harder if I'd done say the straight physics degree um, and basically when I was looking for a degree I was like yes I want a physics degree but because I love like maths and chemistry and all the other sciences as well I wanted to try and see how much of that I could also get into a degree without compromising on the depth of physics and the Cambridge Natsuki course basically ticked all of those boxes um, so that's why I chose Cambridge over Oxford for kind of degree reasons um, so as much as I love physics, I'm not ready to give up on chemistry yet, so this allows me to do it for at least another year. Um, so those are kind of the specific to the degree that I'm doing reasons, um, but more generally Cambridge versus Oxford. Um, I think Cambridge is slightly more academic. Um, I mean... They are known to be harsher on A-level grades and their offers um, and they are more academia focused and I think Cambridge is slightly less posh than Oxford. Um, they also do seem to be doing a lot more work in access and outreach and basically trying to get a more diverse student community because obviously at the moment it is shocking um, the kind of diversity. Um, and I think they are doing more than Oxford and that was something that I really wanted to support. Um, I didn't really want to feed into this elitist culture, which I feel like Oxford has more of. Um, in my opinion, Cambridge is a lot prettier than Oxford. Um, and I just felt like the colleges had more personality, whereas Oxford, I felt like they all looked quite similar. They all seemed very stone based. And maybe that's just the ones that I saw. Um, but Oxford... Cambridge have got some that are stone, some that are brick, some that are old, some that are new and they all just seem to have their own little personality which I quite liked um, rather than all being almost a photocopy of each other just some a bit bigger, smaller and a couple of different features um, I mean after visiting both um, Cambridge was the one that just felt right um, I could see myself there Oxford, as much as I liked it, it just didn't give me the same gut feeling. Um, I just felt like Cambridge was much more inclusive and friendly than Oxford and generally I just felt like I'd be happier at Cambridge so that's why I chose Cambridge over Oxford. Um, it was something that I did really look into. I didn't want to just pick one over the other for some silly reason. I did really look into it and I decided that for me um, Cambridge suited me better than Oxford and basically these were the key reasons why I felt like that. So um, yeah, if you're trying to pick between the two, 
um, particularly if you're looking at physics or a similar subject. Um, hopefully this gave you a bit of insight into my research on the two and how I felt about them. Um, my biggest piece of advice would be to go visit both if you can. Um, obviously if you live quite far away that could be quite difficult but if you don't live too far away definitely try visit both. Um, summer schools are a great opportunity for that. Um, the Cambridge colleges individually run loads of summer schools. Um, for example I did one at Selwyn. Um, Oxford run Unique which is a very similar thing but it's just a bit more central in how it's run. Um, Sutton Trust also does some for uh, Cambridge. Um, those are basically a really good way of seeing what it's actually like to be a student there. Um, there are also taster days. I did one at Oxford which was on material science because you don't really do any of it at A-level so I wanted to see what it was like given that it was something that I was considering doing as part of the Cambridge Natsuki degree and that was something that I wrote about in my SAQ. Um, so again that gave me a bit of an insight into Oxford. Um, so yeah, um, thank you for watching.